Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Martin. This is Lego Fan UK, and today we have another Meet the Creators Monday. Today we have with us Nick, aka Model Trainman. So, hi Nick, thank you for joining us. Hey, how are you today? I'm doing pretty well. Brilliant. Nice and early where you are. I believe you are West Coast America. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the UK, so I think it's four o'clock here where you are, so around about eight o'clock in the morning. That is time. So a nice early uh, Sunday morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, so we've got Nick, uh, model train man, on here just to talk about a few of his Lego idea submissions. The first one we're going to talk about is going to be the awesome Casey Junior Circus Train from Dumbo. It's a bit of a mouthful, but absolutely brilliant. I really like this one. It looks really cool. I love how the engine actually looks like the one from Dumbo. So you've done Thank a really you. good job with that. So. Do you want to just start us off by saying why you decided to do this this set and what appeals to you? Well, I built this set because I'm actually disabled, so my right hand, my right side doesn't work very well. And growing up, I actually got teased, you know, because of my disabilities. I have yeah. I have my faith in God as well, so that always helped me, but Dumbo was inspiring for me because, you know, he got bullied and teased and um, and he just he never gave up. Yeah. And Casey Jr., you know, when he when he had to get up that mountain, he didn't give up, even though it seemed insurmountable. Yeah. So I built this because I wanted people to know, you know, don't give up. Don't lose faith. Just keep going. Keep trying. Yeah. I figured it was the perfect model to represent my feelings on that. Yeah, as I say, that's actually a really good way of explaining, isn't it? Because it is an uphill struggle for people, and like you're saying, being bullied is is not nice. Not as like bullying bullied as a child, as an adult. Everyone, unfortunately, some people do experience it a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry you. And you know, it was. That. Um, but like I say, it's given you sort of, it's given you more of a sort of determination to do these sort of things and. You know, not prove to other people, prove to yourself, yeah. yes, I'm happy, I'm, I want to do what makes me feel good. Yep, definitely. Yeah, so uh, with the so with the train, um, obviously you've got the engine and you've got a few of the little um, sort of carts that follow behind it. Now, I believe you've motorised it? Yes, I have motorised it. I, I've gotten a lot of feedback saying I probably shouldn't have motorised it. But I was going more on the um, notion that they mo that Lego actually motorized the Disney train, yeah. And I was picturing this, you know, going around a Christmas tree and and that kind of thing. It's always good to add some of that in because you do find that um, I built a train, the Harry Potter Hogwarts one, recently, and mm -hmm. I got a lot of questions going, "Can you motorize it?" I, I didn't have a clue. I've never motorized a set before, so something like that is quite good because if it gets made into a set, at least you've got the option to go. Yes, it can be motorized. Exactly. Do you like the film Dumbo? Is that a good favorite of yours as well? It was actually one of my favorites growing up. Yeah. I um I watched it, you know, the first time with my mom and my dad and my brother, and it just it just stuck with me. So at the moment, as of today, we're looking at seven hundred and seventy supporters, and you've got seventy three days left. And the next goal is a thousand, mm -hmm. which seven hundred and seventy. So guys, if you like this uh, design there's a link in my description of this video check check it out go look at that and also look at the other ideas so you're a religious uh, guy aren't you 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 do believe a lot of faith um which yes. then brings me to your next one which is your world in a violin now this one's actually really cool i like this one it's it's completely different to what we get on the Lego ideas i know we've had the piano recently but mm -hmm. this one's a lot different do you want to explain all about this set um i'll let you Tell us uh, how you've come to this and what it all means to you. So I'll pop that over to you now. Okay. Well, for the Worlds in a Violin project, I don't know if you remember, but there was that contest for Lego Ideas right before we knew the piano was being made where it um, you had to go build something for music. Yeah. Well, when I was about 18, I read these books by my favorite author, Brian Davis. And he um, had written a story where this, um, where this young kid used a violin to actually save 
the world and you know fight evil yeah and that was one of the things that stuck with me but also going back to my faith for a minute i i've always had strong faith and i've always loved like him hymns and stuff and a lot of those are directly inspired by the bible yeah especially the psalms and everything and i just had wanted to let that come through so rather interestingly i don't know if you were looking at the sheet music that i built yeah that's on there yeah that's actually um the first opening notes to ode to joy okay because that's one of my favorite um that's one of my favorite classical music pieces yeah and then the sheep are also um a reference to may the sheep safely grazed by uh, Bach and um, I just had this idea that you know when I sit and I think of music I just imagine it it's like a movie so I just went and I imagined what you know I saw in my head when I listened to these pieces yeah and I thought well it would be fun if you could interchange you know so you could have the dragon follow the train or something and uh Speaking of the train, it is actually a reference to the crocodile that Lego just released. Okay, yeah, so that's the reference to that. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a good little, it's a good little set. It's it's different to what we normally get on the Lego Ideas platform. Um, So it just looks mm -hmm. really nice, and because it's got a lot of meaning behind it, it's you know, it's something really nice. It's obviously special to yourself as well. Um, Yeah, but. Knowing those references now, I can see why you've done things a certain way. Because before, obviously, it looks really nice, but now I actually understand more of you know what you're thinking and how you're portraying it. Yeah, but that's so that's really good. It's a different set to we normally get. We've got the piano close up as well. So is it brown on the back so you can close that down, or you just take it all out? That was the idea, but you know when you're building it digitally, yeah. because I don't, I definitely don't have enough brown pieces yet. I um I intend for it to close, but because of the way studio works, I couldn't. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have shown it closed. Oh, that's a good idea. So, like I say, once once you get some bricks, you could probably have a little play around and see if you can get it to close up. So that one at the moment, guys, is on two hundred and forty uh, supporters. It's got three hundred thirty eight days left. So we've got quite a few on that. So if you like your classical music, definitely one that's going to go quite it'll go quite nice with the uh, with the piano. Nick got a keyboard then. <laughs> You've also got your third one which we'll have a quick chat about is the sanctuary cove now this is is it to do with like trade so the ships coming in for trade early in america well actually this one is um based on i don't know if you remember pirates from 1989 i grew up at a weird time because i was literally born in 1989 but i was too young though to act then to actually end up with any of these yeah and I always saw in the catalog, I thought, you know, they're so focused on the fighting, but there's no peace faction to um, have the uh, Imperials defend. So I built this one because I wanted to see, you know, a peacetime faction that the Imperials could escort or the, or the pirates could try to raid. And I figured it was the, it was kind of my way of building the Lost set. So yeah, so it's quite a nice little set. You've got some brick-built sails on there as well, which yes. is quite nice because normally you just get sort of the, the material ones. So that's quite a nice little little one there. You've got a little hut as well. Is that just like a little storage hut for them? That's pretty, actually yeah. an ammo store. Okay. Where if if Studio was going to cooperate, I was going to have it set up so you know you could have your racks of your swords and your guns yeah. and stuff. But because of the way studio works, you know, I couldn't clip it properly. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes you have to, they sort of float and they don't quite quite go very well. But no, it's like quite a fun little set of pirates and these sort of themes are really good, uh, good sellers. They they work really well and mm-hmm. you can expand a lot. There's obviously a couple of sharks in there. I saw an octopus in there as well. Yep, I was just trying to make it fun so that it would grab people's attention and they would totally be excited by it. Yeah, I mean that's what you need. Don't you? you need to enjoy the set as well. You need to be able to sort of like move it around how you want. The ship's obviously detachable, isn't it? So is that a flat bottom ship? Um, actually, it's a bunch of the um, inverted slopes. Okay. So and then 
the bottom, the very bottom is like a, is flat inverted tiles. Yeah. But I just wanted people to be able to move it, you know, float it around. And I kind of was designing it so it would be modular. You know, you could yeah. set every piece where you wanted it. That's brilliant. And, that's, that's good. You got some really good ideas there. And I like the way that all three of your designs are completely different to the last one. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's showing like your faith from that in, in a couple of them. Um, your sort of like, say, when you were at school and you were being bullied. So the, uh, the Casey Junior one is really, you know, really good for you as well. You know, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's, a, it's a set that means a lot to you or design that means a lot to you. And then, like yeah. I say, the, the Pyrex is again something that, you know, is obviously close to your heart. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice to have, like I say, it's like a little bit different to the normal sort of pirate themes. Um, yeah. That one at the moment, so Sanctuary Cove is on 278 supporters and you've got 335 days left on that one. So that one's getting there as well. It's just getting the support there, isn't it? It's quite hard um, to get sets noticed at times because the, there's so many ideas on or submissions on the Lego ideas. It's trying to get it through. Yes. So hopefully guys... And the fact that so many do. people love so many different things, it's hard yeah. to convince them, hey, you, you really want to have this. You yeah. know, I've found that my hardest thing is getting it out there and getting people to be um, really interested. Like, Hopefully, guys, if you're watching this and you, you like any of these sets, there is, or these ideas, there is a link in the video. So check out those. Any support uh, for Nick would be absolutely greatly appreciated. He's, yes, he's had a lot you. of fun recently. He's been on Beyond the Bricks doing a live interview there about the violin set. So... Mm -hmm. That was an experience, wasn't it? I assume you, was it. Were you quite nervous doing that one? I was a little bit nervous because I didn't want to misrepresent myself, yeah. but at the same time, I feel that I need to tell people about my faith, my experience. So, because you know, as you know, if if you don't read history, or somebody's doomed to repeat it. Yeah. And, um, I felt like if I get my experiences out there, maybe people will kind of you know learn and not make the same mistakes people have made already yeah so no, it's def definitely a different uh, one so. Like, so i haven't done any live um sort of chats yet i might do that in the future i'm not sure but you know it's uh, yeah. it's definitely something really good like i say i'm meeting some really nice people we're having some good chats about about their sets and their designs and hopefully fingers mm -hmm. crossed what it's going to do is going to help just push your designs out a different way because obviously you yep. use Facebook quite a lot. I think I saw you on one of the um, the Lego Ideas pages on Facebook. Yes, I've been using that quite a lot, and people have been quite receptive. But you know, it's just hard when you go into one of those groups and you share it, and they've seen it already. You're hoping yeah. to catch people who haven't gone yeah. and supported it yet. But you know, it's a it's a tough thing. Are you on Instagram? I am on Instagram. What's the name on there? Is it Model Train Man? It is Model Train Man Dragon Hugger because okay. I've always loved dragons as well. <laughs> yep, <laughs> and the dinosaurs, like you say, with behind you, you got a you got a dinosaur standing there. <laughs> yeah, Rex from Toy Story is my favorite uh, character of all time. So, and that that explains your little avatar on the Lego Ideas, where you got a Rex there, and I believe mm -hmm. there's a story behind that as well, isn't there? Yes, actually, my friend Adrian drew it for me because I don't know if you've ever heard of Disney Infinity. Yeah. Is that the the game with the little mm -hmm. figures that you put in? On yeah, I was yep. I was huge into that. And I was struggling with um car they did a play set for uh, Pixar's cars and you had to do you had to drive and you had to hit rings before time ran out and you got only a minute. And I had made friends with the dev team. And um, I, uh, I told them, I said, I just can't beat it. So actually, the head of story on Cars told me, well, if you can, don't give up. I know you've got disabilities and everything, but if you can beat this, I want to do something for you. So he drew me that avatar because I was able to actually beat it. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, so that, that was like your sort of reward. He said, if you keep going at it, persevere. That's brilliant. Yeah, so, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. I think it's such a cool little avatar. And like I say, it's personal to you as well. And it's mm -hmm. it's really nice. I absolutely love that. I want to obviously thank you for coming on to the channel. It's just a quick sort of like chat just to help get you some support, hopefully get some more 
more people looking at your ideas, just getting mm-hmm. it out a little bit further. Um, I say I'm only a small channel at the moment. I'm growing slowly, um, yeah. and I think you're my tenth or eleventh uh, one of these videos interviewing someone. So I'm having mm-hmm. so much fun doing this, and I'll end up doing a recap probably in about a month and a half, two months. I'll do another recap and just say where sets are now, and hopefully okay. you'll be closer to a thousand, or if not at a thousand, and going for the next goal. But I say really appreciate coming on, guys. Please check out Model Train Man's idea submissions. We've got a link below. I'm sure he'll appreciate each and every one of you that puts the support through for his sets. And I just want to say thank you for coming on. Thank you for chatting to me early in the morning. You're welcome, Martin. It was a Um, pleasure. No problem. And I hope you have a brilliant day. And I want to say to everyone, thank you for watching. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye.